It is our weekly check-in with Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward, and let's kick things off today with the Love My Neighborhood grant. It's back. Give people the rundown. What type of events uh, can be applied for and who can apply? You know, the limits of this program are really your imagination, and we have had all kinds of different programs. There was uh, people that wanted to put up a giant inflatable Santas in their neighborhood and have a Santa food bank drive through. Uh, that was reindeers in another neighborhood was partially funded. A group of folks had a concert uh, and Halloween event for their neighborhood and barbecue. Uh, there was a circle dance uh, in, uh, in Sweetgrass Park that was uh, sponsored and hosted by Indigenous residents here in Burlington. So a whole variety of different things have been funded through the Love My Hood program. It provides uh, matching funding and startup funding for people that want to. Really, it's about building uh, building community, letting people get to know their community. So if you've got an event or an idea of something you want to do, and it doesn't have to be in your neighborhood, you could do it in a park. Uh, so some of the, we've had moon ceremonies uh, led by an Indigenous elder in Beauville Park. Those were supported by the Love My Hood. So there's really um, no limit to, uh, to what you can do with these things. And uh, if you want some inspiration, head over to my website because we were starting to collect some of those stories to give people an idea of what the possibilities are. You know, it's, it's funny to say there's really anything positive coming out of COVID, but I don't know about yourself, but I found I actually got to know a bunch of my neighbors mm -hmm. and the actual smaller communities, because we were so restricted, have blossomed a little bit. They really have, because with with gathering sizes restricted and some of those larger events that people might have gone to, you couldn't do it. Uh, uh, so people said, look, let's let's organize something with 25 people because that's legal and we can do that. And if it's outside and we know our neighbors, people felt safer during COVID. And that's really what happened. And so there were these micro events popping up all over the city. People did get to know their neighbors. Uh, there was one at Christmas. It was a carol sing along and, you know, really well attended and music and like just just incredible stuff. And And people saying, I didn't know my neighbor before this happened. So there are some silver linings from COVID and uh, I, you know, we're not gonna go back to the way it was before. People will continue to do these events and want to come out to be together. And I think for some people, the preference is a more local event, a smaller event where they can start to build actually long-term relationships with their neighbors and people in their community. There's real value in that. And that's the whole point of the Love My Hood. Now, I don't want to make this a whole COVID silver lining interview, but I want to talk about Alert Burlington next. And this is something mm -hmm. that we we did mention on Halton News already. Do you think that this also is one of the few positive side effects or COVID where people want to be notified of a potential emergency, but do so in a very, you know, um, niche group, a small group, which is what Alert Burlington has the potential to do? Absolutely. So please do sign up. We just launched it online. And it's very similar to, say, the Amber Alert, which people are familiar with. But in this case, you do have to register to get the notification. So I just I went on yesterday uh, to register. So it gives you the option of uh, just putting yourself in. You can add family members who live with you. You can add their photos if there was an emergency and you wanted uh, first responders to know what the members of your family look like or not, it's up to you. Uh, you put in your address, you put in your postal code. So if there was a, a highly localized, as you say, a highly localized emergency where let's say there was a gas leak and we had to clear everybody out of a particular neighborhood, only those people would, would need to get the notification. And so the system, because they've tracked your postal code and your address, they can target just the neighborhoods that are affected. So it's a really great system. Uh, there's been huge uptake. So uh, the when it first launched, there was about 100. A uh, couple of days later, there was over 500. I haven't checked in on the numbers but uh, lately, but it just keeps exponentially growing as people get uh, more aware of this, this tool and sign up. So let's keep it hyper local once again for our final uh, subject today, and that is Burlington Tourism and the A to Z um, program that they've launched. I have to say, going through the list, I was surprised that M was not a stop at uh, Mayor Marianne Mead Ward's home. <laughs> 
yeah, we've we've hidden my address. No, I'm I'm kidding. Um, that would be very fun. There was a lot of chocolate on mm -hmm. the list. Lots of chocolate. Uh, I have to give a shout out to my colleague uh, Angelo. Mrs. B's was on the list. They have the best chocolate covered licorice uh, in the city. Uh, lots of uh, lots of other things to do. The the museum, uh, of course, our art gallery. And then my favorite uh, is uh, Kerncliff Park, getting out in nature and doing some hikes. So there's no shortage of things to eat, see, do, be inspired, uh, or, or get out of town, get out of the urban area and enjoy some of our uh, rural hiking areas. That is great. Mayor Marianne Meadward, always a pleasure. We'll do it all again next week. Thanks, Jason. Great to see you.